My name is Caleb Dunn, and today we're going to be talking about isotypes, allotypes, and idiotypes, and some of the differences between them. So an isotype is the slight variation in the antibody gene family that will encode for various antibody light chains and antibody heavy chains. In order to be an isotope of a particular gene family, they'll belong to a set of genes that'll encode for similar proteins. In other words, the isotope is the different variations of the antibodies, being the five different antibody molecules, with the first being an IgA molecule, This is the IgA molecule, and the second being an IgD molecule, the third is the IgE molecule. Fourth is IgG. And IgG. And the final molecule is the IgM molecule. Go, the IgM molecule. So the antibody isotype of a B cell can change during cell development and activation of the cell. Immature B cells, also known as naive B cells, they begin in the bone marrow and they'll only express the IgM isotype of the cell. And B cells can then begin to express both IgM and IgD isotypes when they begin to mature and the co-expression of these isotypes mean that it's ready to respond to a particular antigen and once B cell activation occurs once they respond to the antigen this will cause the B cell to divide and differentiate into an antibody producing cell called a plasma cell and these plasma cells are going to produce the antibodies and in this form, the plasma cell will begin to produce antibodies in a secreted form rather than a membrane-bound form. And once these cells begin to divide, some of the daughter cells may undergo a process called isotype switching. Isotype switching. And this means that they can cause the production of antibodies to change from an IgM or an IgD molecule to the other isotypes if they're needed. 
so they can change from the IgD, IgM and the IgD molecules and they can change production of that to the IgA, IgE, and IgG molecules. So to understand what allotypes are, we'll have to explain what allotypic determinants are. So an allotypic determinant is an antigenic determinant that'll vary among the members of a species of an animal. And this will be located at the constant region of an antibody, which will be right in this area of an antibody. And an allotype is going to be a set of these allotypic determinants that are characteristic of some members of the species but not all members of the species. And these determinants of the allotypes are a little specific, and this means that in each individual there are slight differences in the constant region in the light and heavy chains of the antibodies. And we'll draw this a little bit more because the constant region actually begins up here. And an idiotype is the shared characteristic between a group of immunoglobulin or T-cell receptor molecules based on the antigen binding specificity of the variable region, which the variable region of an antibody being up here, pretty close right around to the antigen binding site, of an antibody. So with that said, there are three different types of antibodies. There are anti-isotypes that'll have antigenic determinants and these are the regions of an antigen that'll make contact with the antigen binding region of an antibody. And these are specific to each heavy, cl heavy chain class. And there's anti-allotype antibodies that'll have antigenic determinants that are a little specific in the constant region of the light and heavy chains of the antibody rather than simply the heavy chains of the anti-isotype antibodies. And finally, the anti-idiotype antibodies, they have antigenic determinants that are characteristic of a particular antigen combining sites, and this will be found at the variable region of the antibody. Those are allotypes, idiotypes, and isotypes of antibodies.